At Pioneer Oval, Tino got the ball rolling for the spaceman. A minute later, Parks 5'8", Dennis Moran found a hole in the visitors' defence to send winger Dan Johnston over. Mitch Cale showed his strength to hit back for the Jets. Tino soon had his second. Moran prominent as usual, starting and finishing this spaceman movement. Tino brought up his hat-trick in style, this time racing 95 metres. Narromine clawed their way back into the game through a try out of dummy half to Adam McDermott. McDermott then turned provider, Luke Harding, on the end of a neat kick. The visitors were not giving up. A tryout wide to Sam Hitchcock gave them a sniff. However, the spaceman stamped out any hope of a Jets comeback with tries to Steve Dunn. And then Dooley grabbed his double right on full time. At Tom Knight Oval, the Cobar Roosters were desperate to give home fans something to crow about. But Sims found an answer to every question posed by the tricolours. Despite missing Western Rams pivot Corey Stanley, Sims looked sharp with the ball. They fired early and quickly set up a commanding lead. And at half time, the Fishies had the match in the bag, holding a 28 0 advantage. The Visitors mirrored their point scoring effort after the break, racking up a half century. The 56 to nil victory putting Sims in second place. An unbeaten start to 2013 has everybody talking rugby league in Ningen, and the Tigers' start against Forbes reflected their status as competition leaders. But the Magpies weren't phased. A brilliant ball from Ben Orcher paved the way for Matt Roylance to score in the corner. Orcher was at it again this time, sending Lee Atherton over. And when Ben Robinson bustled over, an upset was on the cards. But the Tigers showed their true colours after the break. Liam Fishwick finding the line untouched. The English playmaker then delivered this pass for Adrian Daly. Forbes struck back. A wrecking ball in the form of Luke Thompson proved unstoppable from close range. However, Daly's double had the Tigers back in control. The decisive blow soon came, Fishwick firing a towering bomb for a flying Declan Hall. Under lights at Dubbo's Apex Oval, fans certainly got their money's worth. Attacking flair was the flavour of the night, and a slick shift through the hand saw Wellington Cowboys land the first blow. From a kick return, Raider Mason Williams exploited some open pasture. Then, Ethan Ryan did the rest. It was try for try, Cowboys responding as Kenny Everson regathered a kick, then linked with Corey Ashby. Then it was Macquarie's turn, a string of passes found wide running Moses Manu. A 
After the break, Williams caught the Cowboys defence napping again and Shannon Peters finished in the corner. Spinning the ball through the hands, the Cowboys gave Sam Coe a chance to show his clean set of heels. Josh Merritt's right foot step had the pendulum swinging back in Macquarie's favour. Before Norm West ignited a Wellington onslaught. Slicing through the blue wall, West found Co in full cry. The Cowboys were riding high. Some more sharp passing ended in a Richard Peckham try. Against the run of play, Justin Toomey White celebrated a dream debut as captain coach, sealing a memorable Cowboys win. <laughs>